What's going on everybody, Derps Classic here, and in the words of the mighty NNA Productions, welcome back to a brand new video, another day, another banger. Today we're going to be talking about a topic a lot of you guys have requested, and that is the Verbal Ace situation. Verbal Ace, who up until this point I'd only really heard of, is a YouTuber who was best known for his cartoon beatbox battle videos, which were incredibly popular for quite a while. I don't doubt some of you have probably seen his channel before, and maybe you were even a fan at some point, but today we're going to discuss what is widely considered to be a permanent stain on his reputation and potentially Hasbin Hotel's reputation too. Hasbin Hotel, for those of you older than 12, is an animated pilot created by Vivian Madrano, better known by her alias Vivzy Pop. She's somewhat notorious for her incredibly lackluster and often childish writing that usually consists of excessive swearing and arbitrary references to sex. I could go on and on about the countless if blank was written by Vivzy Pop memes that you've probably seen floating around, but then this video would be way too long and at that point I might as well make an entire video about her, which I don't feel like doing. Anyway, Hasbin Hotel follows a character named Charlie who happens to be the Princess of Hell. Something something musicals, something something sex references, something something Vivzy Pop writing, you get the idea. But what does this have to do with a cartoon beatbox YouTuber? Well before I tell you, you're probably gonna want to sit down for this. Are you sitting down? Good. This man, this grown ass man, spent $50,000 on an animation that sees him being transported to hell and sexually harassed by Charlie. Now, the video itself never actually gets into full-on nudity, which I would argue make this... Which I would argue even... Ugh, which I would argue makes this even more pathetic, but something interesting... Ugh, my fuck. But something interesting I want to point out is that Charlie is canonically a lesbian. So, why is she suddenly lusting for some random black guy on the internet? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, what happened after all of this became public knowledge? Well, apparently he went bankrupt, which, I mean, that'll happen when you spend that kind of money on softcore goy slop. But this was also followed by an announcement of an upcoming video series called Puppet Beatbox Battles, which is not popular at all, and probably only happened because he can no longer afford to pay his animators, or any bills for that matter. So what do I think of this entire thing? Well, it's unfortunate for sure, but some people just have to learn things the hard way. The fact that the mere idea of spending that kind of money on an animated fanfiction went through this guy's head is just baffling. This is something Chris Chan would do. In conclusion, Verbal Ace is a sad, strange little man who commissioned an equally sad, strange little video and gave the animator his entire life savings to wipe their ass with. With that all being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little short, but that was really all I had to say about it. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because it helps out a lot. We're almost at 700 subscribers and I can already tell 2024 is going to be a great year for this channel. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.